What's going on everybody? Merry Christmas. Hopefully you're having a great day today. Brandon and I decided we were gonna have a good day and drive out to Riverside to play disc golf. So we already completed one round earlier today. He bested me by one stroke, so I owe him a dollar and I still didn't pay him for the dollar that I owe him for yesterday, which he forgot about lunch. Yeah, yeah, let's find lunch for $2. That's three tacos. <laughs> That's four tacos from Jack in the Box. So we're on we're on round two. We both have parred the first two holes. Did you birdie hole two? I did birdie hole two. Oh, he birdied hole two, so he's one under and I'm even. And uh, you know, we're having fun out here. So I just sat in a pile of ants and that made me get up and decide I should do a vlog. So here we are. We're behind two kind of large groups. Group of four over there, group of four over there. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and we finish before dark, but what else are we going to do today? So, see you in a little bit. In the world of disc golf, there are a few things more perilous than a wet tee box. We'll try not to die. Here's what I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. How does that and that happen? I understand there's no trash can in the vicinity, but yikes. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. So there's this thing I do when I play disc golf where I will throw my drive and it doesn't go where I want it to go, meaning I release it at the wrong angle or in the wrong direction and I get mad about it. And I go say something like, wow, that sucks. Or wow, that's so bad. Or, you know, something to that effect. So my first drive on this hole, you can see you can kind of see a disc up here on the hill. That's that's where I threw my destroyer, because I aimed right. And I wanted it to come back to the left and finish over there. But I threw it really straight, so it stayed over there. So then I threw a second shot, because I wanted to be like, hey, I can make an adjustment, throw something with a little bit more angle, see what happens. Well, I released it, and instead of releasing it to the right and going over there, I accidentally released it straight. I said, wow, that was so bad. Because it really was. It was really bad out of my hand. And it went perfectly straight. And then it skipped. And it ended up there. So, there's that. Front nine down, as predicted. The group in front of us is pretty slow. So is the group in front of them. So we're chilling. Brandon is not playing as well as he was earlier. And I'm about to win my dollar back. So, that's happy. Here we go, back nine. Well, Brandon was in a tree. He got it back. So now he has to try to... Salvage this hole. He hit another tree. But he's close now, kind of, at least. Well, close to the fairway. We've reached hole 18 of this round, hole 36 of the day. I am currently two strokes up on Brandon this round, one stroke up on the day. So if he gets Here's what needs to happen. This hole has a double mandatory, so you have to throw it between there. So he is hoping that I miss and bogey, and he would have to birdie to tie me for this round and maintain his one stroke advantage. I am pretty confident that's not going to happen, so stay tuned. Well, I went bogey par bogey to limp to the finish, but I still won by a stroke. Sucks to be Brandon, get my money back. Thus ends Christmas day. I hope everybody had a great day. I ended my night watching Soul, the new Pixar movie, and it's fantastic. It was way different than I was expecting. And gotta love Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey as the lead voice actors. I highly suggest watching that ASAP. Um, but otherwise, good night and have a great weekend. Good night, Eldrick.